fuck yeah, bro. You know? Hi, it's Robert Mitchell at the 2017 Toronto International Film Festival. We're here at Midnight Madness for the world premiere of The Crescent. Could you, uh, welcome to Midnight Madness. Thank you. Could you tell me about uh, being in the production designer uh, aspect of the film? Uh, yeah, it was an interesting project because it was a lot of stuff that basically I've never done before. Uh, and it was a, it was a very micro budget. So, um, you know, Seth would basically keep coming up to me being like, oh, can you make some weird, I don't want to spoil it, but like, can you make a crazy body part or something? I'd be like, oh, God, I guess so. Um, yeah, it was basically just like working with, with a pretty shoestring budget to make some pretty crazy stuff. So. Um, everybody talks about uh, what a visual experience it, it is. Could you talk about um, being the cinematographer on the film? Well, it was uh, it was shot in southern Nova Scotia on the coast, so it was a lot of stark imagery and uh, a lot of, yeah, just, um, yeah, the whole thing felt really pure in terms of the imagery and what we had to work with, so, um, it, yeah, it came along pretty naturally for everyone. Was there a lot of natural lighting in it? Um, I'd say 50% of the film's natural light, and then there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of night shoots, so... Yeah, we were lighting that in detail and having a lot of fun. I mean, it was like, uh, Seth and I have been working together uh, making visual art for years, so we have a really good, um, I think, understanding and, and similar aesthetic, so we're, and we're pretty good at, like, you know, solving problems on the fly, so it was a lot of just kind of like, if something's not working, we'll just, we'll just work on it. The film is pretty, like, uh, I think a lot of its appeal is like the visual element, so it was, it was a lot of basically just us making sure it looks as beautiful as we could make it. So shooting it on the East Coast, does it lend a lot to the story? Uh, definitely, yeah. It's, um, it's not necessarily set on the East Coast in terms of the, the story, but um, it's, it's uh, yeah, it definitely has that feel and, uh, you know, Seth and the, the writers, they both live live on the water so I think it's you know a natural inclination for them to to bring that out. What well, is one of your favorite um, moments while making the film? Um, there's uh, that's a good question uh, working with Woodrow was amazing um, there's a I don't want to give away too much okay. so there's a there's a there's a scene that involves a, a marbled man that was uh, doing that scene, um, like marbling the person was a very intense and weird experience that none of us had ever done before. And we had some guys come up from the States uh, that do body marbling, mm -hmm. um, but we all had to help out because it was a pretty intense process. So. What was it like to work with Seth as a collaborator? Uh, yeah, it was, it was amazing. It's just, you know, really, really optimistic and brilliant guy. And, uh, you know, he's just... Yeah, he's really, yeah, it's just like a family, you know, having a great time together.